This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a ProGuard brand locking police car shotgun rack. It was recently removed from the headliner of a retired police cruiser, and for demonstration purposes, I've used it to lock this Remington 870 Police Magnum. Now this is a lock there is no excuse for getting wrong. It's intended to protect a firearm that's in plain view of the public, and it's often left unattended. What's more, they cost hundreds of dollars, so there shouldn't be any corners cut. Yet here we are with at least two glaring weaknesses. The first weakness is the mechanical backup lock we see right here on the side. Now normally, this rack's going to be operated electronically with a switch hidden in the car. But if the power's off or if the electronics fail, ProGuard has a mechanical backup. As best as I can tell from their website, they offer three options. A wafer lock, a tubular lock, and the worst of the three, a handcuff key lock, which is what's installed on this one. So why is that so bad? Well, first, it is extraordinarily easy to pick, even with improvised tools like this bent bobby pin. Let's try that right now. Currently locked. Unlocked. It's just that fast and easy. But even worse, one key works on all of these. And while some might say that's a feature, it's an extraordinarily common key, one that thousands of non-law enforcement officers carry every day. You couldn't do that on a civilian gun lock, and even if you did, it probably wouldn't comply with most safe storage laws. But let's put all of that aside and assume it has an extraordinarily pick-resistant core. There's still a problem. The locking bolt can be retracted simply by placing a powerful magnet on the side. Let's give that a try. Unlocked. Locked. Unlocked. Locked. Unlocked. Folks, I have to say that I am more than a little disappointed with this. It isn't the case of buying a cheap lock and getting what you paid for. It's an expensive lock with design vulnerabilities, and the consequences of failure could be quite high. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.